me some Marika and my top three shows of this year are Free the developer is using no code with Angela Castillo. She is the co-founder and COO at Hello Guru and she has a great personality. Be what would impact your customer. So if you're user centric enough, you understand that feature is number one because that's what customers want. But on the other hand, you cannot take decisions as a product manager if you don't see data. So they find themselves in this situation all the time. Or for instance, they have a bug and they need to fix it or the system failed and they need right now to understand how many customers were impacted to send a message or, or to take whatever actions are required. So it's, it's well received by everyone because the business intelligence team does not receive as many requests for dashboards. And then the engineers do not receive uh, requests for doing queries, which by the way, doing a query for an engineer is very boring. They have done it 20 times. And, and so they, they're very enthusiastic about the fact that the product manager can see the data on his on her own. Then we have recipes, the center of the food systems. Why food data is the key of unlocking efficiency? With Benji Kultai, he's the co-founder and CEO at Galley Solutions. An influence in that if you look at the food system, if you look at what is the food system? So in my mind, when I say food system, I think of farming, sort of food production, you know, raising animals, planting, you know, producing the food that feeds the world. It goes through a supply chain to get to kitchens, whether those are home kitchens or commercial kitchens. And then it goes through now another logistics chain of delivery and getting handed off to those end consumers. And sometimes it, th that piece doesn't exist. Sometimes you're consuming it in your own kitchen, like when you're at home. Um, but sometimes it, it has a complex sort of flow. And we're even seeing it become more complex with organizations where they're creating sauces in one facility and transferring those to another facility so that it's closer to the homes that they're serving. So there's these multi-chain pieces of production. So it's becoming more and more complex. And finally, I will say using technology to build a bank for all with Deep Barma. He is the CTO at Barro and he's a great storyteller. Every person wants to make a money and what they want to do is they want to make sure that they have a place where they can securely keep their money. And then that money is accessible to them when they want that money. So I grew up in India. I still remember growing up there, how my mom used to save money and how she used to secure that money in the home, making sure that she has that money when it is accessible. I think consumers are demanding at this moment of time a fairness in the system. They are demanding that, you know, hey, I apply for this checking account. I apply for saving account why my applications are not getting approved, why I don't have a debit card, right? So I think customer needs have evolved in last 10 years. And I, let me take you back to the days, uh, you know, when I used to print the maps, if I have to go from destination A to destination B, I remember my first trip to San Diego. Those are my top three. Thank you.